I will say, like, it took me also a while to kind of, like, step into a space where I'm, like, um, like my manager. Mm. I was, I'm a manager, but I'm a manager <laughs> Yes, too. girl, yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, aiming to provide young Namibians in the creative industry with an opportunity to showcase their talents on platforms which command a global audience. We are joined in the studio by founder of Opal, talent manager and events curator and events coordinator, Renee, who's going to give us the tea. I know there's an event coming up as well. We'll get to that a, bit, uh, a little bit later. Let's first welcome her to the show. Hey, Renee, how are you? Hi, Chisa. How are you doing? Good, thanks yourself. I'm doing great. Happy International Women's Day, first Happy of all. Happy International Women's Day to you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let's get straight into it. Let's talk about Renee and who Renee is, a background just on who you are before we get into the nitty gritties. <laughs> okay, so um, my name is Renee, my surname is Shipasha, and mm. I am an event curator as well as an event organizer, as well as a talent manager, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as well as a woman. Wow, you're wearing a lot of hats, girl. You're wearing a lot of hats. Yes, hundred percent. But mm -hmm. uh, overall, man, just somebody that's trying to create space and trying to, you know, infiltrate our market yes. um, and make events management something that you know this world hasn't seen before. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so why the creative industry? I mean, out of all the industries, why the creative industry? And what has prompted you to venture into this specific, you know, cur curating events and, and organizing events and being a talent manager as well? Um, I think for me, it's always been about um, the space in the industry. There is a platform for all of this. Mm -hmm. And I think for me, um, I'm a person that when I get to an event, I itch so much yeah. because I'm sitting there thinking, why is this not done? Where is the water? It should water? have been done like this. Where is the, yes, mm. yes. So I think for me, it's always been like, okay, if they're not going to do it the way they should do it, let me step into that space and show them how it should be done. Okay, girl. Hmm. Put your foot down. All right? <laughs> it is International Women's Day. Let's talk about, you know, how, how you find the industry, you know, being a woman um, and, and the challenges you also face in the industry as a woman. Um, I, I mean, I strongly believe, especially in the talent management space, mm. that is a man's world, I believe. Okay. Because you don't find a lot of women um, that are managing talent, talent managers yeah. and managers of artists or manage, managers of influencers or anything of mm -hmm, that sort. Mm -hmm. But, um, and just to, just to, to, sh to say a little bit about that, I am a woman that manages three male artists. I was about to ask <laughs> you that actually. <laughs> yes. So for me, it's more of a thing where, um, I feel like women are so organized and it's so challenging because when you step into such a space, you get to a show with your artist and these men just want to step all over you and mm. act like you don't know anything about mm. sound and you can't be on the stage. Mm. But I stand behind the mixer yes. and tell the DJ, listen, you didn't do this correctly. Mm. Please mix my artist song correctly because mm. I know what I'm doing. Yes. And because I, believe, I, I strongly believe that... Um, Getting into that space with my artists mm. has we've, we've we've shown the world or Namibia a very different dynamic. Yeah, because I take charge when I get to an event. Yes, and if I'm with I my think artists, I've, I've seen you with your artists at an event <laughs> before, so I I, I think yeah. I've I firsthand experienced uh, oh, wow. you know that. So 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 um, have you had you know uh, issues like that? You know, um, being in the industry, are there always clashes? Of you know, with course. with the, the male counterparts when it comes to course, the industry. Of course, I mean, yeah. I, I feel like the music industry is. It's a great world, but it's a dirty world as well. Mm. And uh, they don't see us as women in that space. you got to be tough, tough, 100%. tough. hundred percent. Mm. But then, um, that, like I said, I'm here to change the narrative. Yes. And I believe I already have. Mm. Take us through a day in your shoes. Like, what, what does a day look like <laughs> in Renee's life? It depends what day. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let, let's say Monday. Let's say a Monday. What does a Monday look like in, the, in, in Renee's life, in Renee's shoes? Well, it depends on what I'm, do, what, what I'm doing at that current time in that current space or in that current time um normally or ba a few months ago it would have been my normal eight to five mm -hmm. going to work but in between sending invoices in between managing my artists mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in between listening to their gr grievances and complaints yeah. and all of that stuff but right now a day in my life is extremely extremely insane okay because of this weekend <laughs> okay. okay because of this weekend cool yes. i have a question i'm gonna put you on the spot for a young minute okay. just for a quick minute sure so you have three male artists currently that you're managing so what's up what's happening with the ladies why is there not any other uh, ladies under your staple i think I'm, I'm a little bit too much for the ladies really then. what so yes. you say it's easier to work with men it's easier to work with men but at the same time i believe that um there have been a few ladies that have approached me mm. but um 
Ladies are divas. <laughs> and if I say that you must be at the show now, mm. I expect you to drive and be there now. now uh. Not, yeah, but my dress, I must still go fetch what? But you know how our so, lives is, talk yeah, as women. But mm. that's why you, you need somebody in your, in your corner that is 100% organized. Yes. Yeah, management-wise. Would I manage a woman? I don't know. Mm. But... Um, I think you should, though, Renee. I think, I think you should give us a try. <laughs> um, yeah, I was about to say, you know what? Let's get to this next question. <laughs> Any advice that you have, you know, for, for young girls, um, young women listening to, to you talk about the industry right now? You did say it is not an easy industry uh, because it's mostly a male-dominated industry. So yeah. any advice you have for a young girl, a young woman that's listening right now who's thinking about, mm -hmm. you know, going into talent, ma talent uh, management and, and really stepping into, into that industry? Um, don't be scared. Mm -hmm. You are enough. Um, believe in your dreams and believe in the things that you want to do because... Um, I will say, like, it took me also a while to kind of, like, step into a space where I'm, like, um, like my manager. Mm. I was, I'm a manager, but I'm a manager <laughs> Yes, <too>. girl, yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, my manager, Yolandi, always tells me, you are the brand. Mm. You are the moment. You are the picture. Yes. So believe that it is, it is your time. And everyone's journey is different. It mm. might not be the same for you the way it was for me. You might get it quicker. Yes. I might get it slower. True. It really True. doesn't matter. But mm. at the end of the day, step into your space and, you know, and ask for help. Space. Yes, Call exactly. at Renee and say, hey, Renee, I'm thinking about going into this industry. Exactly. What do I need to do? What's, exactly. what's the pros? What's the cons? Yeah. And mm. I also think just have a great, at the end of the day, just have a good heart and be humble mm. because God rewards humility and also be willing to learn all the exactly, time all exactly. the time all right renee thank you so much for coming to share you, you know what it is and what it's like being in the industry we look forward to you know more events that you're going to be organizing and thank you so much for coming to share with us thank you <laughs> you're welcome you too renee in the building of course talking about the event and just talking about what it means to be a woman in this creative industry it's Reza in the morning we continue with the music as you hear in the background it's kelly Rowland with lil wayne motivation on 99 fm and when